<sighs> Welcome guys, what a wonderful day. And I promised you to show you how my installation with Mayana and also the Raspberry, including my new screen works. So this is something we will look at now. So this is my first test with the onboard screen on my Raspberry Pi 4. And to understand this, let's take a look into yeah, the architecture. And you can see here the components my uh, solution consists of. So of course, first of all, we see the heart, the Raspberry. And on the Raspberry, there is the MacArthur head directly attached with the onboard sensors. And on that you have the WaveShare 7 inch screen, you saw it uh, on the intro. So I use the screen now for a little dashboarding, but the main heart on the Raspberry itself is uh, Signal K. So yes, I used the open plotter installation this time, but Signal K is the real heart because uh, I'm mainly need the information on a central system which can be forwarded then afterwards to the different uh, yeah, clients, let's say. And one client itself is the instrument panel, which is part of Signal-K itself. So we have a dashboard, which we can easily configure, um, some graphs like uh, compass or wind, but also pure data, uh, which you can visualize very easy. So nice tool to get this data centralized. Um, on the other hand, I also have some inputs for that. And Signal-K is forwarding this via Wi-Fi. So everything which is connected to my Raspberry Wi-Fi net can um, get this data. Furthermore, the MacArthur head is able to forward this data. So to understand this, let's let's draw this. So the MacArthur head, for example, gets via the one wire input temperature information. One temperature sensor is here on my engine. So uh, that's a standard one wire sensor, two bucks. It's really cheap or maybe five if you have the long cable connected and you don't want to prolong it on your own. So we get the temperature information. It's a bus system. You can connect multiple sensors on our screen, which is very nice. So when the engine gets hot, you can see this and you can also, of course, take other sources. One input. Another input I use, I use the Pico. Maybe we do another video for that, which I connected on my Votronic charger. I did a video using the Raspberry with UART. Because of MacArthur had it didn't work anymore. Another USB UART didn't work as well. So I decided to use a Pico and this was working very well. And the Pico now forwards the solar charger information to my Raspberry via Wi-Fi. So it's not a direct connection, it's Wi-Fi. I just get um, the supply from my Raspberry. And the Raspberry again uh, yeah, sends this information to Signal K, or let's say we send it directly to Signal K, and we can see it on the dashboard on top. Yeah, So that's um, also something which you can use the dashboard for get all the information from your different sources, temperature, uh, charging, and so on. Another use case is I get the information of my uh, NASA uh, wind system. This supports NMIR. It's not exactly my receiver, but just take this one. And it's connected to the... MacArthur had wire and mirror, so the and mirror information goes directly here. And the cool thing is, I tried to connect it directly to my uh, autopilot, but it didn't work. I had to convert the sentences. We can take a look at it. So this one here converts the sentence of my uh, NASA system so that my um, autopilot can use it. So now I can use the wind information on my autopilot. And I use the EMEA wired input and wired output. And the good thing is that the Signal K multiplexer um, is able to send data out via Wi Fi, but we can also use the MacArthur head output, dedicated output uh, for this special sentence. And um, I also own a Mayana antenna. You saw this already. This delivers two kinds of data. One is GPS, so I get the position on the upper left here and the speed on the lower right and date and time. And I also get 
the AIS information. And all this is done via a patch cable to the MacArthur head and the MacArthur head makes this available on Signal K so that you get it for example on the instrument panel on the dashboard. However, we also get the Wi-Fi access point with open plotter and Signal K and can forward this data. Not only this data, also all other data which is now in Signal K. I don't use OpenCPN. I use a tablet. This tablet is connected via Wi-Fi with my uh, Raspberry. So the Raspberry forwards to Navionics in this case via Wi-Fi all data. And yeah, Navionics can use two kind of data. So one kind is the AIS, so I can see other boats. And it also utilizes the GPS information of the Mayana, so it doesn't need to use the onboard GPS of the tablet itself. Currently, I also test a VNAV. Um, so I did a video already about OpenCPN, and maybe I will do a comparison between uh, AVNAV and OpenCPN. Uh, AVNAV has the big advantage that you can use your tablet without any installation. It works as a server on your Raspberry. So I play around with AVNAV currently. Also, maybe it is an alternative or at least a backup for Navionics for me. So in a nutshell, I can say that the setup is quite useful. I love the data hub ability of Signal K, getting the data to all clients. I really enjoy also the Raspberry as a very solid center hub for my overall system with the MacArthur head to get the NMIR data in as well. So I really can recommend that. The screen itself is a nice gimmick. It's also useful if you have a good position, maybe where you get a watertight one or something, but usually I would say a tablet can do the same because you get the same data via Wi-Fi as well. So it's nice, but not a must. And for me, yeah, I have to see if I will use a plotter like a VNAV, but that's the next step. Currently my setup is good and I'm happy with that. So thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time.